Good morning, Marcus Cotti, investigative journalist. Peter Strokes, down. FBI, fired. Wow, Peter Strokes. Remember the guy? You know Peter Strokes? You see him all over the news. They got him dragging him through Congress like it matters, right? They fired him, right, from the FBI. For what? For covering up the Clinton scam, right? Right? Is that what he got fired for? This fucking bullshit, right? I mean, it's nice. You're good. Okay, so... so Peter Strokes was an FBI agent at the FBI who was instrumental in, in, in interrogating Hillary Clinton during the 2016, the run-up to the 2016 election, right? So he's, in, he's, he's uh, implicated all over, him and his girlfriend, Lisa Page, are implicated all over the cover-up of the Hillary Clinton uh, uh, in, uh, interrogation where they questioned, where the FBI called in Hillary Clinton to question her on her involvement in the 2016 election cover-up scam about her use of classified uh, uh, use of a private server that she had in her basement in Chappaqua, New York, to circumvent uh, uh, you know public public records. They were running a quid pro quo scam out of the basement where all the money was flowing in from abroad, and and uh, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton were using the foundation to launder the money. But that that's what what the cover up was. And then you saw James. James Comey, the head of the FBI, come out and say, oh, there's nothing to see here. No reasonable prosecutor would find anything wrong here. No reasonable prosecutor. There's no precedence. There's no precedence. Right? So Comey's fired. McCabe, who was his right-hand man, Comey's right-hand man, fired. Peter Strokes, fired. Right? So what does it say to you? What does it say? It says that the FBI is deeply corrupted. Right? It's quid pro quo. It's that paid off. McCabe took $700,000 directly from the Clinton Foundation to run a failed candidacy campaign for her, for his wife. Right? Quid pro quo. Right? So I, about voting. Let's talk about voting. Because right? this, is, this is all bullshit, right? The, the paid, the politicians and, the, and the deep, what, what we're talking about is deep state, FBI, CIA. They're all, they're all paid off, right? You have to go to the root cause. You got to go to the root cause. You got to go to the root cause, which is oligarchy, the money grabbing. Right? That's the whole shit right now. So, I was looking at some because it's November sixth is rolling around again. The big, the next big flag is coming. The false flag. Boom. What are they going to do now? They're going to blow something up. They're going to, you know, what are they going to do? Sink the stock market. You know, something's going to happen, right? Leading up to this election because they've lost the narrative and. And and look, the the, you're, the the politicians. Let's not talk about state. I don't want to talk about state and and local bullshit right now. Right? Let's talk about fucking who's running in the state, this this you know for city council. I, that's bullshit right now. What's most important is the federal elections, the federal elections where we pick our house and our senate and have federal laws that affect the whole country. You want free t tuition at city and state universities? You want universal single-payer health care you want to you know lower the the military spending by 80 percent you want to raise the corporate tax rate to 80 percent right you want real election integrity where hand counted ballots at every election place where, 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 the, where the, to stop the cheating you want to get money out of politics you want to make bribery illegal again bribing politicians illegal again because it's not legal it's not illegal anymore it's still perfectly legal Right? If you want those things, you have to look at the federal level. Right? You must look at the federal level. So is voting, is voting good? Is voting something that, that we, we should all, we should feel good about it, right? We should feel good about, as Americans, we should feel, as patriotic Americans, we should feel good about it, about it right? So here's a video. I, I found this from, it was 2012. It was a good, it was a good video. It was by uh, Rock the Vote. Rock the Vote. Remember Rock the Vote during Obama? Rock, we're going to rock the vote. Get out and rock the vote. And all Hollywood came out to rock the vote. Just vote. It doesn't matter. Just vote. Voting is good, right? So let's watch this video together. This is from 2000, um, 2012. It's a pretty good video. Let's check it out. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what the Hollywood, uh, uh, you know, elite have to say about it. Let's check this sh sh shit out. You're going to love this. Check this out. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will be counted. 
We will matter. We will stand our ground. We will be brave. 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 We will be heard. Heard. We will. We will. We will. We will organize. We will vote. 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 We will vote because we matter. Because you matter. We will vote because we make a difference. We will vote. We will. We will. Wow, exciting young people, good looking people, young, energetic. We will be counted. We will matter. We will stand our ground. We'll be brave. We'll be heard. We'll organize. We'll vote. Because we matter. Because you matter. We will vote. It's, a, it's, it's inspirational, right? I felt good about that. Wow, it's fucking beautiful people. You be, I felt good about that. I feel good about America. It makes me want to run out and vote. But what the fuck am I voting for? What am I voting for when, 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 I, when, when the, the elections don't count? When people, when people are getting screwed left, right, and center, and then when you stand up, you're a Russian agent. <laughs> When you speak up, right? Where are these people now? Where is Pink and the rest of the rest of the good-looking people in this video? Where the hell are you? Wake up! Right. So that was Rock the Vote in 2012. Maybe they changed. Maybe they. Maybe they. You know, 2012 is a long time ago, right? It's a long fucking time ago. 2012. I can't even remember. I can't even remember yesterday. 2012. What the fuck? So let's see. I went to their website. I went over to um, Rock the Vote. See what else they have, right? Right? Give them a chance, right? Give them a chance to redeem themselves. Voting is good, but 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 then, but then we saw two million ballots get thrown in the garbage in California. We saw two hundred thousand voters purged off the rolls in New York, right? Right? We saw we saw we saw the, the uh, DNC stick a knife in Bernie Sanders, a good the good senator from Vermont running for president. They stuck a knife in his back and they bamboozled him, stole all his money. Right? Right? It, that would have changed, right? Now Rock the Vote must be must have seen all that, right? They're on the liberal side, the liberal, whatever that means, right? They're all vote blue no matter who. <laughs> so they must have woken up, right? They must have woken up. So I found another video. I went over to Rock the Vote and I checked this this other video out. Let's see, let's see what else. Let's see if they learned anything, right? They must have learned something. I, let's just check it out. I'll shut up for now. We are in a truly urgent moment right now that calls for us to be leaders like we've never led before. All of our lives are on the line when we think about what this next Congress is telling us that they're going to do regarding immigration rights, civil rights, reproductive health care access, and so much more. Many of us have ever wondered what it would have been like if you lived in the 1960s to be a civil rights leader. We don't have to wonder that anymore. Now is the moment that calls for our leadership, and now is the moment that history is going to look back and ask us what we've done. I didn't realize how many people were on our side, how many people were in the same line of thinking and were standing up for the same thing. I think the biggest statement that the protest was that we're united. We're no longer going to stand idle and be silent. We're going to speak up in one voice and hope that change comes soon, that we're requiring it. And it's the most powerful thing to see people just come together as one and understand that what may hurt you can also affect me and what affects you may not affect me, but I'm still going to march and stand with you. The moment for young people to take action in leadership is now. So get your friends together that also share your lived experiences, that share your experience in this world and talk to elected officials about why that matters. If you're not happy and you're hesitant about participating, participating is the only way to get things change to get things done you can't complain about how things are without being willing to actually be involved in the conversation you should make protests and direct action and volunteering part of your social life get involved and stay involved by doing something with your friends whatever it is you're doing do it together
So it's like the sheep. They're they're heading towards the towards the cliff, right? And and they're all falling. The the, the sheep in the front of the, the 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 in the front of the line are falling off the cliff first, and the people behind them can't see that they're falling off the cliff, right? But they just keep going. You know where the pink pussy hat brigade just. They're going and they're going right off the cliff, right? That's what I see when I watch that. Now, is it? I see. I mean, comments like "urgent." It's an urgent moment. What this next Congress is going to do, right? And then the, just a slew of liberal nonsense about abortion rights and gay rights and who? It doesn't. That those things. Look in a in a good economy, folks. In a good economy where 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 people are prospering. That's the last thing that people give a shit about, right? But he cares about that, right? Do, do you think that the, the people in Congress give a shit about gay rights or no gay rights or 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 uh, abortion or, or any of that stuff? No, they don't give a shit. So why do you care so much? Why do you think that they care so much? Because that's the carrot. They, they're dangling that carrot in front of you. And then they take the money, right? They're taking the fucking money. Stand up for something, right? Come together as one, right? This is this is this is the gaslighted. So so they so rock the vote has evolved. Wow, they evolved into pink pussy hats. Now they're now they're the pink pussy hat brigade, walking the streets, trying to believe hope that something changes by us coming together, and not knowing what the fuck we we want to change. Right. That's what I see. Right. That's what. I, that's how I, how I perceive it. Now, how do we? How do we change that? Right. I, I. I. I'm almost. I mean, it would be preposterous to think that people watching this video that follow my bullshit, right, <laughs> for lack of a better term, are are pink pussy hat wearing people that identify with that. Right. Now, I stand for all, I stand with those people for all the social issues they're fighting for, right? G gays and, 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 you know, and, and uh, abortion, of course, it should be a woman's choice and all those things, right? But you're not going to get any of that stuff done, right? Because you, you don't understand the root cause. The root cause is the thing that I talked about initially, which is, the massive corruption inside of the deep state where where there's no longer free elections so you could run out and vote and organize and 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 then they're going to take it they're going to them i'm going to say them they are going to take your gar your vote and they're going to stick it in the garbage pail over there right they're going to throw your fucking gar they're going to throw your vote in the garbage right right Be who are they who are they? They, they, they. Oh, they're Republicans. Oh, it's a white guys with beard. They're fucking white guys, right? The white, the old white men. The old white men are going to take my vote and throw it in the garbage, right? That's what you think? Yeah. Listen, oligarchy. Look it up. Monopoly. Remember when you were a kid and you played Monopoly and all the, you know, and you, and you, were, you were winning and you had all the hotels and the money and then you were losing another day and you had $1. Right. You know, it's it's there's a handful of people that are controlling the board right now. And if you want to vote and you want to get involved in politics, good. Take the pink pussy hat off, throw it in the fucking garbage. And 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 tell your friends that we're we're living in in very very troubled times right now where where the where your vote doesn't count. You can vote and then the elections are rigged by a couple of couple of billionaires that are paying it's all pay for play now. Koch brothers, the Walt, the Walton family, right? They pay off these politicians, right? And then they get to Congress and they, they get to Senate and they vote against you. 90% of what the politicians in Congress and the Senate are voting for are against the American people. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? That your representatives don't represent you anymore. You must understand that. If you want change, you must understand that. Forget about Trump. Trump is insignificant in this equation. Trump is not an ideologue. If you don't know what that means, is he goes along with anything. You could see him change his opinion in the same sentence, right? He's, he's someone who, if the people get enough 
momentum behind them, he'll, he'll just go along with it. That's a good president to have right now, right? Right? With Bernie Sanders, we probably would have failed. With, with Hillary Clinton, we'd be in deep trouble right now with wars and insurgency, fear tactics, and it, it would have gotten really ugly. With Sanders, he wasn't a, he's not a leader, right? He's not able to, to get out in front of it. But you do have actual opportunity. Stop blaming Trump. Stop attacking Trump and organize against the powers that be. And it is the oligarchy. They're shutting people, they're shutting voices down right now. People like me that speak up and are telling you the problem. I'll occupy Wall Street. They physically took them and threw them out of the park and shut the park down. So that's all I want to say. If you want to unite, unite behind the right people. Stop paying attention to the fake media, the, the corporately owned media. The same, the same people that own the media are the people paying off the politicians, right? And who are they? 10,000 publicly traded companies, maybe five or 600 billionaires in the U.S. And they, they're paying off your Congress and your Senate. 90% of what the Congress and what our Senate votes for is against you. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube, and candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.